racist. What is racist? Is a racist somebody that can tell you something from their memory? Hmm? If I remember a scene from my life and I sit here and I tell it to you, am I racist? Because the people who perpetrated the acts was not like me? Am I racist? When I point out things, or I show people things, or people see things, it is complete ridiculous for anyone to pass judgment on somebody after watching one video. Now, if you was to sit at my table and eat my food, would you call me racist? Those who are around me that know me know I'm not racist. But if I can tell you something that I remember from my memory, would the people I'm speaking of be racist for doing those acts against me? Would those people be racist? Or would I be racist telling the stories about how these people have treated me? If I point out that a group of people treats their own people with disregard, am I racist? Am I racist because I'm not pointing out those things that my own people have done to me? Does that make me racist? Am I pro-black, anti-white, anti-black, anti-Mexican, anti-Hispanic, anti-Asian, anti-Chinese? Am I racist because some of the things I've said in some of these videos was I racist when I was defending Al Sharpton? Or that some I was defending a I was defending someone else who defended Al Sharpton. Was I racist then? If I if I tell you to go watch a Tim Wise video, would I be racist? If a group of black people chased you down, beat you up, and robbed you. And I did a video, and I'm talking about a group of white people that chased me down and beat me up and robbed me. Am I racist? Are you racist? If I tell you a story about a woman whose father was beaten by a black man and robbed when they first came to America, and she was Guatemalan, and she worked with this black guy first chance she got she fired that black guy was she racist because she didn't like black people because something what a black person did to her family was she racist huh was a little old white woman racist who got told off by the black guy who didn't have to use a cuss word but when everybody else in the place said oh he went off <laughs> And the black man wasn't allowed to speak? Was the black man racist because everybody else was white? And the person in charge was Mexican? Was I racist by saying a white woman, Mexican man, white people, that make me racist? That make you racist because you say you, oh, wait a minute, what are some of the words that white racist people use? I have black friends. Now, out of all these white people on here want to call me racist, and they say they got white friends, they got black friends. How many of your black friends been in your videos? Hmm? How many of your black friends been in your videos and you calling me racist? Now, on the course, I mean, in in the history, I mean, uh, in the time, I mean, in the space, I mean, in the, in, in all the time I've been on this thing, how many black people have been in my videos? 
and how many white people have been in my video. Are they paying me for this? Extra coverage? I talked about the black situation in the beginning. I talked about immigration in the middle. And I'm talking about imperialism now. When the people that have been running this joint don't look like me and you living worse than me, don't blame me when I tell you point at them. Don't point at me. When I open your eyes and tell you to look at the same person that I've been looking at all this time, pushing me down, point his finger at me, you need to look at him too. Just because he or she may look like you, don't blame me. Because I have been pointing it out lately. If you ain't got the blood as a stature, you ain't related to Margaret Thatcher. You ain't got no royalty in you. You're nothing. You are no different than the skin I'm in. So are you a racist? Here's where you're supposed to put on your 3D glasses. So you can see through the bullshit and propaganda that's been placed around the videos. When you touch a nerve, they wants to place you to the curve. Is that how you want me to speak in my videos? If the glove don't fit, you stuck in that shit. Is that how you want me to start talking to people? I already stopped combing my hair for you, massa. Is as a racist? Is as a racist? If a person can remember that a group of people have done something to them and they don't like the way that group of people treated them, does that make them racist? You are only racist when you have a blatant disregard for those lives in which you feel inferior to yours. And if you believe that someone of a different race or color are no worthy enough to lick the shit off the bottom of your boots after you've been working on a farm, then you may be a racist. If you think that these people are beneath you, regardless of what color they are and what color you are. And if you use their color or their sexuality or their uh, religionality or whatever against them, is you a racist? When Hitler said, kill all foreigners, was he a racist? Oh, wait a minute. Scratch that last one. And another thing, another thing, whenever I mention I'm going to do a Hitler video, they stop dropping in bombs. Why is that? When you tell a person to look at themselves, they look at themselves. Not every white person is a racist and not every black person is not a racist. Not every Mexican person is not a racist. There are Mexican people that don't like your ass either. There's all kinds of people that don't like all kinds of people for whatever reasons or intent they have. But what does that make you? Make you godlike to pass judgment? You the kind of person that's gonna say, hey, that's not good enough for my daughter. Huh? Whenever you can turn up your nose for a reason that is not life or death, whenever you can get with a group of people and hate on another group of people for whatever reason, understand, whatever you spew to somebody else, you don't want nobody spitting on you. Venom is one kind of hate nobody wants. 
but does that make me a racist? Because I don't want to see white people shitting on white people. And then, oh, all you black guys do is commit crime. Not around here. What? Am I lying? I gotta be lying? Oh, black people commit crime right down the house, right down the street, no. No. In different places of the country, they see different things. I'm pretty sure I can go right over to the white neighborhood and get some white drama. Go over here. They was having hate crimes down the street. A few years ago, when people was walking over the overpath, somebody painted a bunch of swastikas and hung a bunch of metal wires up. People ride their bikes over the overpass and a couple guys got the act. Luckily, the wire wasn't high enough to chop some necks off, but come on. Was that person a racist? Was they painted swastikas and hang metal wires up on a popular bike trail where people go downhill at speeds of up to 35 miles an hour? I don't know. But when you set out to hurt somebody or do something bad to somebody, then you may be a racist. If you're going to deny somebody an opportunity, you probably are a racist. Is there a place in this world for you? Apparently there is. You still here? The venom is still being spit? And you know, I don't care what you call me or believe or think I am. The fact still remains the same. When I had thousands upon thousands of blacks following me, I was like, yeah, leave black women alone. Stop talking about black men like that. And then some guy was smoking a cigarette on a video. And he was talking about being in love with a 13-year-old girl. So I did a video like, man, that was sick, man. What are you, what are you doing? And all those black people that I was watching wasn't going to back me up against the pedophile, uh, uh, what's the uh, pedophile partner, Paul the Strange. See, there's a history on this thing. See, when I first started out, all I wanted to do was talk about my day because I was having a bad day. I, somebody told me, you know, you get on the internet and his fucking video diary, and you, just, you let it out and you feel better about yourself and you'll forget about all that racist bullshit getting those pictures of the black ducks and you know being called monkey and you know the you know the nigger and you'll forget about all that shit and i didn't have no intent on talking about anything that i've ever experienced racism on youtube i was just going to get up talk about my day talk about how the job search went Talk about my music. Maybe do a little video here or there. Try to get a little one-hit wonder thing going on. And the first thing I was called was fat black. Was it fat black loser? Or I'm tired when niggers get on the internet and try to make blogs. I didn't start this racist talk. I fought against Willie Pete. I fought against B. Wiser. Created YouTube jail for all the hate. I went through all of this stuff. For the most part, those white dudes were standing, you know, in, in my office. Bed in the office. Four years, the dude was standing in my office. Life was tough. And I'm doing these Hitler videos and everything. Being called a racist. And I noticed, my white friends were telling me, well, on the job sites, you know, they're hiring all these Mexican guys. And, you know, and my Mexican friends were like, man, these people are acting stupid at work. And then the people in charge, just one, was one name in this company, put like this, they had a very thick name. Like, I was going to say Jalati Gambini or one of them names like that, one of the gangster names. And, they start hiring a bunch of Mexican people, lowering the price of wages. 
telling the white guys, these guys are taking your jobs. It's a bunch of bullshit. So then, you know, I got a lot of friends and Mexican neighbors. I live in a very diverse neighborhood. And I hear from everybody. Most of these white guys are broke, losing work, and everything's like, man, Lons, it's tough out there, man, you know? And everybody's like, oh, what is he bitching about? He's got a job. He's got a car. And then these other people I know, you know, the own places, companies and everything. It's like they're hiring their family up. Family and friends only now. You know what I mean? And then, you know, they're the ones that own the companies, but they're not hiring their own people. And they're the first ones to say something negative about their own people. Fucking meth heads and da-da-da and blah-blah-blah. And that's what I start noticing from the upper crust winds. And that's the bottom line. To have a nigga sit at their table because they got to have a nigga. Well, we got poor white cousins. We'll get the cleanest one. We don't need to help these rest of these people. And they turn up their nose on their own people. And because I mentioned the plight of the white on the white, now I've come full circle. So now people think I'm this. And it's time for year five for something new to happen. Because I'm going to do something different in year five. Because I'm tired of talking about white people's problems too. Because they don't want to listen like the black people don't want to listen. So I'm tired of it. Have a good one. So now it's time for me to talk about what I started on this thing. What I came on here for. Oh, but first, I'm still going to upload the video for me at the Occupy Movement in Santa Rosa, California, two days ago. But wait for the new me. Because if you didn't like the last one, you motherfuckers damn sure ain't going to like this next one. I'm pulling the tube out.